Magicians spend all their lives perfecting their craft, all for the entertainment of us non-magic folk, or muggles if you would. Some of them even died while doing what they loved most, which is performing in front of an audience, and those are the magicians that we're going to be talking about today. From an American who pretended to be a mythical Chinese man till the day he died, to a botched attempt at an escape that even Houdini himself didn't complete, here are 10 magicians that died while performing. Number 10. William Ellsworth Robinson William Ellsworth Robinson, who would probably be more familiar to you by his stage name of Chung Ling So, was an American magician who was so committed to the Chinese character that he was portraying, he never broke character. In fact, he actually never spoke a word of English, not on stage, not even when granting interviews, rather often to always use an interpreter. This shtick made sure that by the time he died, he was one of the most famous magicians in the world. And oh boy, did he die tragically. The freak accident happened at Wood Green Empire in London on March 23rd, 1918. He was performing his version of the bullet catch, and sadly, the gun wasn't properly cleaned after the last time he had performed the trick. This in turn caused a buildup of gunpowder in the ramrod tube, which gave it enough force to launch the bullet straight into the magician's chest. This, quite understandably, caused the man to break character for the first time and asked, in English, for the stagehands to bring down the curtain. He sadly died in the hospital the following day. Number 9. Janika Basnayake Humans, as well as all other living things for that matter, need water, food, and most importantly, air in order to live. That's why the Buried Alive act is one of the most dangerous stunts magicians can attempt. In fact, most magicians won't do this act outside a controlled environment. That's why many found it puzzling, not to mention reckless, that 24-year-old Janika Basnayake from Sri Lanka made an attempt to beat the world record for longest time buried alive. Puzzling and reckless because Janaka was a complete novice at this. Instead of having a team or safety experts by his side, on March 5, 2012, he instead got his family to bury him in a 10-foot deep pit and then cover it with soil and wood. He was left buried for seven whole hours before his family decided to dig him up. Instead of a happy Janaka, they found an unconscious Janaka, who was also not breathing. He was taken to the hospital, but was pronounced dead on arrival. The sad thing is, his world record attempt or any of its kind isn't even being recognized by the Guinness Book of World Records, deeming it too dangerous to attempt. Number 8. Royden Joseph Gilbert Raisin de la Genesta Royden Joseph Gilbert Raisin de la Genesta, who we will just call Genesta from now on for convenience sake, was an American magician whose signature trick was the milk can or water barrel escape trick. This trick has the escapist locked in a large milk can or water barrel filled with water. The trick is that the magician should be able to escape from the milk can before he drowns, which made it pretty exciting to watch. Unfortunately though, it doesn't always happen that way. Janessa had performed the act numerous times before, but in 1930, the milk can that he was using was dented, which limited his space and prevented him from making the specific movements he needed to make his grand escape. He was, unfortunately, unable to free himself, and he drowned. His death did have a ripple effect, with contemporaries like Houdini because it made the water barrel trick seem even more dangerous, making it an even more popular attraction. Number 7. The Great Lafayette Real name Sigma Nyberger, the Great Lafayette was a German magician who was once the highest paid magician of his time. He loved all animals, but he loved his pet terrier Beauty the most, which was a gift from the great Harry Houdini himself. He lavished the dog with its own sweet, five-course meals and a diamond-studded collar. Unfortunately, a mere four days before the opening of his show in Edinburgh, Beauty died. Lafayette made a deal with the city council that he would allow his own body to be buried there when he died if they would consent to burying Beauty in the nearby Pierschill Cemetery, which was one hell of a foreshadowing. On the opening night of the show on May 9, 1911, a fire broke out while he was performing his signature trick, The Lion's Bride. He managed to escape from the building, but ran back inside the building when he realized that a horse that was used in the show was trapped inside. Besides Lafayette, ten other people died because the side doors had been locked tight before the show. They were locked because Lafayette didn't want anyone sneaking in. His body was then laid to rest beside his beloved dog. Number 6. Madame Delinsky We've already talked about the gun trick, which already claimed the life of one other magician on our list. The trick itself is extremely dangerous, hence the reason why magicians continue to perform it. It's a guaranteed draw. 
because despite actually having no bullets fired from the gun, 15 deaths have actually been associated with this trick. Aside from Zhu Ling Su, one of the most notable deaths happened when a Polish magician and his wife, Madame Delinsky, were performing in Arnstadt, Germany for Prince Swansburg Sonderhausen in November of 1820. In their version of the gun trick, Madame Delinsky would face a firing squad of six men. She would, in theory, stop all six bullets. Emphasis on in theory. The Delinskys asked the soldiers to insert a blank load into their rifles. One soldier unexplainably didn't follow the simple instruction and loaded a live round instead. Madame Delinsky was shot through the abdomen and died in the hospital two days later. Number 5. Dr. Vivian Hensley Dr. Hensley was performing his own trick called swallowing the rusty razor blade in front of his own son. The trick involves the good doctor pretending to slip the razor blade into his mouth while really putting it down the sleeve of his coat. He's done the trick many times before, but on July 6, 1938, he slipped up and accidentally dropped the razor down his throat. His wife force-fed him cotton balls as she drove him to the hospital. Despite some x-rays and two bouts of surgery, the doctors were unable to locate the razor, and he died four days later. Number 4. Black Herman Black Herman, real name Benjamin Rucker, was the preeminent African-American magician of the time. But because of Jim Crow laws, he played to mostly black audiences in the South, but was popular elsewhere as well. One of his signature illusions, which he used to remote his upcoming shows, was being buried alive then exhumed three days later, after which he'd go on with the show. He was so good at this kind of marketing ploy that when he died of a heart attack at the end of one of his shows in April 1934, no one actually believed that he was dead. Being the classy people that they were, his promoters charged people to get into the funeral to see that Black Herman was, in fact, dead. Number 3. Charles Rowan Charles Rowan, also known as Carr the Magician or Carr the Mysterious, was a South African magician who specialized in daring escapes. His bread and butter was escaping from straitjackets and jumping into piles of broken glass. In 1930, Carr was performing in Springfontein, Orange Free State, South Africa. On that day, he was attempting a very dangerous stunt in which he was tied up in a small straitjacket while a man drove straight at him in a car, basically trying to run him over. The car approached from 200 yards away, accelerating to a speed of 45 miles per hour. If you do your math, and of course depending on how long it would take the driver to reach the required speed, that would give Carr about 10 to 15 seconds to somehow escape from the straitjacket and get out of the way of the speeding car. Unfortunately, on this day, he was too slow. It doesn't take much of an imagination to infer what happened next. Now it's time for the day's best pick. Which is definitely one of the most dangerous stunts a magician or escape artist could perform. It's called the Chinese Water Torture, made famous by Harry Houdini himself. But dangerous as it seems, no one's actually died while performing it. There were near misses though, and in the case of today's pick, it happened during the filming of a Hollywood film, and the person who almost died wasn't even a magician. Find out more next with number 2. Isla Fisher this is a still of actress Isla Fisher performing the Chinese water torture in the hit movie Now You See Me. What you probably didn't know is that she actually almost died while filming this scene. According to Fisher in an interview with the Daily Mail back in 2013, there were a lot of safety precautions in place when the scene was filmed. There was also a panic button inside the tank for Fisher to press just in case something went wrong. There was also a safety diver with oxygen on standby, but unfortunately the chains that were wrapped around Fisher became entangled. She couldn't reach the panic button. She was also unable to use her hands to signal the safety diver that she was having issues. Showing presence of mind that only seasoned escaped artists would have, she managed to untangle herself and complete the trick just in time, but she had to hold her breath for three minutes while doing so. Before we move on, do me a favor. My analytics show that only about 15% of you watching are actually subscribed. Come on guys, what's up with that? Can you guys please hit the subscribe button? You guys watch my videos every day anyway, so you might as well subscribe and keep up to date with every video we put out. Number 1. The Amazing Joe Joseph Burris, also known as The Amazing Joe, simply adored Harry Houdini, and that's why he got into magic in the first place. But instead of only being an inspiration, Burris was obsessed in being more famous than Houdini as well. So on Halloween night 1992, which is also incidentally the anniversary of Houdini's death, he was adamant about succeeding where Houdini failed, being buried alive. 
Amazing Joe had himself handcuffed, locked in a homemade coffin, then placed in a seven-foot deep grave and buried alive under dirt. Not really satisfied with that, though, he added cement into the mix. All in all, he was buried under seven tons of weight. He might have been fine, however, the weight was what finally did him in. The sheer weight of it all was enough to crush the coffin with him inside it. There's actually a video online that does show the event as it unfolded, but obviously, watch at your own discretion. This might be a bit of a morbid question, but I just have to ask, how would you want to go? Let us know, or not down below in the comments. Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing videos. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.